Broadcasting from Manhattan Beach and the World Wide Web, you're listening to CHSR, HealthyLife.net. As a service to our listeners, this program is for general information and entertainment purposes only. CHSR HealthyLife.net does not recommend, endorse, or object to the views, products, or topics expressed or discussed by show hosts or their guests. We suggest you always consult with your own personal, medical, financial, or legal advisor. And I was turning blue. 
I had uh, developed uh, encephalitis. The, the infection, the cold, had generated into the uh, encephalitis. It had traveled to my brain. I ended up um, induced in a coma for four days. Uh, when the doctors thought I was going to either come out with severe brain damage, or I was going to end up, um, with, uh, I was going to end up uh, crippled um, and uh, you know severely uh, injured from the uh, from the, vi the viral infection that had traveled throughout my brain. Um, instead of uh, coming out um, with all these uh, different things, I ended up uh, I ended up coming out with. Uh, Unfortunately, the encephalitis had left me with epilepsy. Um, but the first thing when I opened my eyes, um, I asked for uh, McDonald's French fries. <laughs> I was, you know, I just, uh, you know, at that point, you know, I really didn't know what was going on. But, you know, throughout my childhood, um, I had uh, seizures. I had grand mal seizures and uh, all these different types of seizures, focal seizures. Um, and, uh, you know, what they had realized was that the, um, the, the virus, the encephalitis, had left scar tissue damage throughout my entire brain but it, you know it's something that we call like a invisible disorder um, it's something that if you look at me you don't know that I have it but you know I would it, life was like a roller coaster ride you know I had struggled uh, with uh, you know consistent seizures throughout my life um, it stopped for a little while and then it came back once I had gone through my um, changes as a young teenager and then from that on um, the the menstruation and the ovulation and any stress, anything. If I didn't eat right, I would go into seizures, and uh, it was really hard. Especially when I went into college, you know, it was uh, any, you know, the late night study and and um, and then the stress of you know trying to do well. Um, I was consistently taking seizures, and I said, oh my goodness, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to make th make it through this. I, you know, I, I just didn't know what to do. So one day I decided to write um, an article and a little letter in the article. I, and at the end, I asked them, "What do people with epilepsy do? How do they cope with this illness? Um, you know, how how am I going to get through life with this illness when I'm consistently having seizures?" And um, surprisingly, three to four hundred letters came to my doorstep, and. Um, People from all over the United States and Canada wrote to me sharing their stories, and I was just flabbergasted. And at that point, I realized that I'm not the only one with this disorder. Now, people don't realize that we didn't have the Internet back then, and we didn't have the computers and all the knowledge, and, and there was only a few books on the bookshelf written by doctors back then about epilepsy. And if you weren't a doctor and you didn't understand medical terminology, you had no clue what they were talking about. It just went over your head. And uh, so I really I felt alone. I felt, you know, I didn't know how to cope with this illness. And uh, those letters helped me tremendously. And uh, I applied a lot of those letters to my to, to my own life, and it really gave me the inspiration and motivation, and uh, it really it really helped me to to move on. But you know, as time went on, I was I went you know I started working in in, uh, in New York. I had a big job with a big corporation, and then one day I had a grand mal seizure. I fell to the floor, and the uh, the producer had you know had fired me for having the seizure. So at that point, I was like, oh, what am I going to do? You know, it was, uh, I just didn't know how to cope with it anymore. I was like, you know, this is, you know, every time I felt like I had to, I had made two steps forward, I felt like I got pushed back two steps. And there weren't many drugs back then and not a lot, not a lot of information about epilepsy. They had, I think, phenobarbital and um, they had the lion. And those were like the two main drugs. And, you know, they were not good drugs. They were very strong drugs and barbiturates. And it was, you know, it was just really hard. So uh, and once I uh, left that job, I started to write and I started my own little writing business. And I started to work for an herbalist. And this herbalist uh, had me do a lot of research about natural healing and about all the different types of herbs, what they do. And I really started to get really involved. And I was like, wow, you know, some of this stuff could really, you know, help me. And I started using a lot of the stuff I learned and applying it to my own life. 
and suddenly nine seizures a month went to six to five to four to three to two and I my seizures you know finally became controlled you know it was applying a healthy lifestyle not you know I, I still took my medicine but I, I was taking applying different vitamins different herbs into my life I changed the way I was living I wasn't I stopped eating unhealthy I started eating more nutritious foods more foods that were more positive for the body and you know that helped the body to uh, to work to its full potential I started to you know uh, start to get my eight hours of sleep not try to stay up all hours of the night I didn't try to stress my body out and when I did get stressed in life because we all have stress in our life um, I tried to do different things to cope with my stress so I wouldn't have a seizure and doing all these things and meditating doing yoga exercising I, I was able to actually finally what you call a quote unquote get a normal healthy lifestyle and, and, and a lifestyle that I was actually could do things that I couldn't do before yeah, that's that's what's so interesting, and that's what I've discovered throughout my my own journey and my own medical career. Because I had obesity issues and cholesterol issues and fatigue issues, and you realize it was an adjustment in your lifestyle. And so, um, was this after college then that when you see sort of working and understand more about foods and herbs and things that you could apply to yourself that you started transforming? into a healthier person? Yes, it was after college. It was after I stopped. You know, I was working in Manhattan for quite some time, and I was working for a big corporation. And then once I had left that corporation, I started working, doing my own writing business, and started focusing, doing a lot of work for this herbalist, and starting to really learn about you know healthy healthy living and applying it to my life. It was then that I saw a huge change in my health, both you know mentally physically, even spiritually, you know, like I started focusing on life a whole lot differently than I did before, and materialistic things were no longer important to me, you know, having a martini on a Friday night, you know, and, and you know, focusing on pretty pocketbooks and all these other things, you know, didn't mean anything, because I realized, you know, as I was doing all these different things, I realized what's really, truly important in life, and, you know, health comes first, you know, your family comes first, you know, you, you put, you know, sometimes you prioritize the wrong things in life because you see other people have things, and you're like, oh, I wish I could be that person. But you really have to look inside yourself and say, me as a person, what do I need in life? What is going to help me, you know, get to the, you know, the long-term and short-term goals that I want in life that's going to really make me feel good as a person? No, absolutely. And I'm always telling patients that you really need to find your inspiration in terms of connecting to your health. Because if it's just something where you tell people, well, it's good for you, just like telling people to stop smoking cigarettes, it's bad for you, it's just not going to happen. Or chances are it's not going to happen. Right. And it really is about finding that inspiration. And in my case, it was the birth of my child. And I said, yeah, I want to be around for her a long time. Yeah. And so my question for you then, Stacy, is, because you were having this epilepsy and the stigma that comes with it, you know, especially as a young child, you don't know what's going on, and all of a sudden you wake up and you don't know what just happened, mm -hmm. how kids responded to you at school. Right. The point is, is that did that inspire you to want to go into what you are today, or how does it you became this health coach and health advocate and author of this complete guide? Uh, what motivated you? Well, when I started, uh, when I told you I had all those people write me those letters, you know, I asked those people, you know, if I, can I use those letters to write my book? And I wrote a book called Epilepsy, You're Not Alone. And one day I got an email, and, um, you know, the book did really well, and the person wrote to me and told me that they had, you know, gotten epilepsy in the, in the midst of their life, and they lost their job, they lost their, their ability to drive. They, everything that they had, they were no longer the head of the household. They were now the person who, you know, needed to rely on others, and they were on the verge of suicide. And she said when and when she read my book, she actually um, had felt a, 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 a momentum to want to live, to move forward in life, and she found a reason and a cause 
um, to live through through the, the the words that I had put in that book, and I realized that words are important. That the 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 wisdom of words go a long way. Sometimes we don't realize it, but things we say to people, things that we you know um, that we do can really inspire others and help others. Um, you know the um, the words that come out of our mouths and the words we put on paper or on the internet. You know those have a lot of inspiration in a lot of people's lives. And it was then I I realized how important um, you know uh, my my wor- how far my words could go. And I realized this was my true calling. I was so inspired. It gave me the I never realized. Um, I can't even tell you the feeling of accomplishment and achievement and how how wonderful it made me feel that I was able to save someone else's life just through just through the words that I put down on paper. Um, you know, it, it was then when I started my I started a little blog and that blog went into a, a big website and you know and people kept contacting me and telling me how much I helped them when I did when I did um, seminars and I spoke. You know, people would come up to me in tears and and hug me and thank me. For, you know, for you know because what I said had so much inspiration and gave them that motivation, and inspiration to want to move forward and, and change their lives. And you know, it was it was you know that. It was then when I realized that's my true call and this is my passion, and I I, changed, I turned my passion into my career, and I used it to help others because I really, you know, nothing feels better than helping others, you know, for me at least, you know, I, I feel, you know, it's it's the best the best thing on earth if I could use my my experience and and help others get through it and help others move forward in life so they could have a ha- happy, healthy, and productive life. Yeah, that's a very key point, Stacey, and I'm always pointing that out uh, to myself and to others, that one of the, especially like going through this whole uh, pandemic where we feel so isolated and detached and all things are starting to open up to some degree, but nonetheless, a lot of people still feel very detached and alone and um, can become very depressed and anxious. And, um, And I think that point you just made in terms of, inspiring others and bringing smile to the people's faces, which I'm always telling my daughter, you know, that should be our goal in life. It's the yeah. best thing you could do is put a smile on someone's face because then it detracts from your own issues and it actually makes you healthier because, you know, being happier and more positive, and I know you, you uh, I'll let you elaborate, you're, you're huge on positivity, um, but on that article I read about uh, you, th- that you wrote on your experience with epilepsy, where you turn the negativity away from you by helping others, and that way it helps you, your immunity, and it helps that other person because they could now have some hope. And um, you know, and so what, what made you so positive and yeah. want to help others? It was. I realized, you know, I had a like I said to you earlier, my life was like a roller coaster ride. Every time I I moved two steps forward, I felt like I got knocked back four, and it was, you know, a constant. If, if I had focused on all the negative, you know, it, I, I would never have gotten this far in life. And, you know, it's, sadly, a lot of us tend to get stuck and we focus more on the negative and we do the positive. But if you're able to, you know, take the negativity in your life, and, and the first thing I did is I realized that, you know, there were people in my life that were pulling me down. You know, and making me focus more on my my negative um, issues, like my my illness, and making me focus more on things that weren't good. And the first thing I did was, I took all those people and I just eliminated them from my life. And then I focused on, you know, I, I realized that, you know, what the past is the past. It's what the present is what is now. And then by changing and making positive changes in the present, we can move forward in life and we can uh, we could obtain our short-term and long-term goals. We could be whoever we want to be. It doesn't matter if you have epilepsy, diabetes, whatever you have in life, you know, if it's a mental disorder, you know, you could get through it if you have the strength to, to want to get through it. It's creating those long-term goals, those short-term goals, and the only way to get all this strength is to focus on the positive. I always say to people, everybody's here for a reason. We're all put on this earth for a reason, and you have to find out what's your reason. What is your positive, positive things in your life that you could use to make yourself feel good as a person, to make others feel good, 
that's your true calling because it's really hard sometimes to find out what is my true calling in life what am i here for because that's the hardest thing people you know go through their entire lives trying to figure out who they are what their purpose in life is and you really have to look at yourself and go inside yourself and say okay you know what is my strength you know and you focus on your positiveness in you and you use those that positiveness and you use those positive qualities to make yourself a better person and to help make others a better person no absolutely i think that is just so key yeah yeah and i and i think it was not you know not a uh, it, you gravitated towards that job with an herbalist you know to to try to find probably something something in you probably got you to to go to look for that direction in your in your life and i've always told people you know it is the why you know just like you said uh and my my, my husband actually also mentioned it in the book you know you got to find out your why mm-hmm. and then from there move on and you know to the direction of life that you wanted to take you Right, you know, that that was true key, you know. I was intrigued by, you know, natural healing. And my whole life I went through, you know, consistent, you know, trying one drug after another, after another, after another, you know, trying to find the right dosage, the right medication. But you know what? You could, you could use any medication you want. If you don't have a healthy lifestyle and you don't have, you know, a, a good way of of dealing with stress and life in general any drug you take is not going to help you you know 90% of illnesses are caused by stress you really you know it's not popping a pill and you'll feel better you know lots of pills cause lots of side effects people go they take one medication they get side effects then they go to the next medication to help those side effects <laughs> and they Excellent. Before you know it, they have a whole cabinet full of medications, and they're feeling fatigued. They can't roll out of bed. They don't understand what's happening, and they hate everything in life, including themselves. And you know, yeah, and that is the pattern. Yeah, that's the pattern we see in our clinic every single, you know, every day. You know, patients who do take medications, and you know, all of a sudden they're on twenty different medications. Yeah. Um, but anyway, we are about to go on a break. Yes. And, yeah. So our guest today on Truth and Wellness is Stacy Chalemi, and she's a health advocate, health expert, columnist for the Huffington Post and other outlets, and she's also the author of The Complete Guide to Natural Healing and Natural Remedies for Common Conditions. We're going to continue our discussion with Stacy on the next segment, so thanks again. We'll be right back. Imagine the sweetness of sugar with no calories and no carbs. Then you have to try Monk Fruit Sweetener from TheGrinningMonk.com. They make sure the Monk Fruit Sweetener that you get is non-GMO and organic. Now put a grin on your face and remember that name, TheGrinningMonk.com. Keto-friendly and with zero glycemics, it's good for diabetics too. So come on, grin, and get your sweet tooth on the healthy way at TheGrinningMonk.com. TheGrinningMonk.com. If you're looking for unique items at affordable prices, then you should try Dream Product. From apparel to beauty, from shoes to therapeutic relief products, visit HealthyLife.net's advertiser page and click on Dream Products, and maybe your dreams might just come into reality. Dr. Tostado's iBody Clinic is located in the idyllic community of San Marino, California. If you've decided to transform your life, this is your opportunity. They work with you to get to the root of your problem and bring you back to vitality. Dr. Tostado's clinic can help. Whether you need a nutritional overhaul, bioidentical hormone balancing, medical weight loss, or stem cell therapy, visit the iBody.com and start feeling good again. That's the iBody.com or call 626-593-5993. VMware is a fresh perspective for virtualization on the cloud. Shaping the future, this all in one platform delivers virtual cloud service on any cloud. Visit our HealthyLife.net's advertiser page and click on VMware. Inner Health produces outer beauty, and now you can get the help you need to look and feel good from the inside out. Dr. Tostado's Eye Body Cleanse helps support weight loss and improves your health. A clean body is a lean body. Get rid of the harmful toxins in your body with a 21-day Eye Body Detox Cleanse. To find out how this cleanse can work for you, visit iBodyDetox.com. The Eye Body Detox Cleanse 
can help you transform your life. So visit iBodyDetox.com now. That's iBodyDetox.com. Remember, get positive emotions at www.healthylife.net. back to Truth on Wellness. This is Dr. Roberto Tostado, my wife Teresa. As you know, she's a nurse practitioner and culinary school graduate. And our guest today is Stacey Chalemi, who is the author of The Complete Guide of Natural Healing and Natural Remedies for Common Condition, who herself uh, has suffered epilepsy and through a healthier lifestyle has been able to um, truly live a much more normal life. So, Stacey, um, if you could give us... Um, a little notion about the spiritual journey or awakening that you had uh, going through this process uh, and share that with the audience. You know, I, I had gone through, you know, um, you know, mind, body, and soul. I did a lot of, at first I did a lot of research about, you know, because the mind is a very powerful thing. You know, people don't realize, you know, how strong, you know, and how much your mind controls. You know, if you have a healthy mindset, you can have a healthy body and a healthy, healthy way of living, and you can really go really far in life. And your strength and your just your your positive mindset, um, you can accomplish a lot. And uh, I started focusing on meditation, working on, you know, taking time out during the day to just relax and focus and work on my breathing and to be able to just, you know, just, you know, put yourself inside yourself and just, you know, and really understand. Because people don't realize, but our body gives us signals every day. It's talking to us, and we don't realize it. A lot of people just overlook look, you know, there's a lot of times your inner instincts tells you, mm, maybe I shouldn't do that, or your body, you feel a certain way, and you really think, oh, I really should rest right now, but you go ahead and you do something else, and then all of a sudden you drain your body, and then something not so good happens. So, you know, you know, you always have to listen to your inner self, and it, by taking a few minutes out of the day, 10, 15 minutes to meditate, to relax, to, you know, hear yourself and learn about yourself and understand yourself better... This is ways that you could actually help your mind, your body, your soul, and actually, you know, you know, this is a great way for if people are trying to find out what their true calling in life, meditating and taking time out and focusing, you know, is a great way. Also, it helps with stress. A lot of times, you know, um, when it comes with stress, you have to learn how to throw things over your shoulder. My biggest problem was that I was focusing on everything. I was focusing on the little problems and the big problems and then I was overanalyzing everything. You know, in life you have to just focus on the, the, the important things, the little things throw over your shoulder and focus on, on the more important things and then, you know what, everything will have, everything has a solution. It all, it, you know, it take, sometimes it takes time, but everything usually pans out, you know, pretty good over in the end most of the time. And, you know, sometimes we can't get ourselves so stressed out about every little thing in life because we could actually do more harm than good. And, yeah, that's uh, true. And then, I, you know, no, I was going to say, I was going to say, Stacey, that yeah, you're right. And as human beings, I think we just hold on to a lot of crap. And we, do. we to just let it pile on and pile on. And uh, what you're saying is exactly what I say in terms of um, people just need to slow down, disconnect from all these um, devices that our world has become so digitalized, and listen to that intuitive voice. And that voice always guides you in a positive way, which is what you did. Right. And um, and it's, uh, it's very critical, exactly what you're saying. And I always joke, I tell people, look, you don't have to grow a beard or shave your head to meditate. It's as simple as being in the tub, sitting yeah. on your toilet, being your, mm -hmm. listening to music that's soothing, yeah. and let your body give you the, the answers. It sounds like exactly. you were doing this. Yeah, you know, it, 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 it works, it, you know, it helps you, you know. I always believe that, you know, we, we, we have, you know, our body talks to us, you know. Everyone has their own beliefs, 
but I always, you know, I always believed in, in, in the spiritual guidance, and I always believed, you know, where, you know, the, the world is mostly made of energy, you know, and it's mostly, you know, and you, you think about, you know, um, you, you know, everything, you know, we have the air to breathe that makes us live, that we have the, the trees that create oxygen. Everything has a purpose. Everything, you know, we all revolve, you know, and, uh, you know, it really, you know, there's always, you know, our body is always talking to us, our mind is always talking to us, and if you have, believe in the uh, seven chakras, they say the, the heart is the main um, the main tool, the main organ that does most of the speaking, not the mind, and they say it, set, takes, makes, it sends the messages to the mind, and you have to listen to your heart. And if you really meditate and you listen to your heart, You'll be more than surprised of how much, how many messages, you know, it leads to you each day. If we take time out to understand ourselves, to understand, you know, who we are as a person, our likes, our dislikes, you know, if we start, if we understand ourselves and we learn, you know, take time to learn who we are and what we are and, and what, you know, what where our purpose is in life, you become a very strong person, a very focused person and a person who really can go out there and do a lot of good for themselves, for their family, for society, and, you know, but it just takes a little time, a little time about, you know, focusing on you and taking time out to understand you as a person and then taking those things that you finally understand and putting them to good usage. No, absolutely. And so, Stacy, so you showed us a lot of your experience growing up with epilepsy, how that inspired you to become this tremendous health advocate and author. And we're going to take a slight turn here now um, after talking about where you, how have you experienced your changes spiritually, physically, mentally. And I know you have a lot of interest in um, an issue that a lot of people do have, and that is with uh, hair loss. And um, I know you've come up with a lot of research and, and, and remedies for this as, as part of your interests and your focuses. And, uh, and I'm curious, so why is it that this is one of your areas of concern? You know, it all started when I, I had written, you know, um, two articles on hair loss. I had put it on my website, and I had so many people contact me, and so we had so many um, people come to read the article, and it was amazing. And, you know, um, what I didn't realize, you know, a lot of times we focus on men and hair loss, and it's socially acceptable in society when we see a man who has hair loss. We don't really think too much of it. The man himself, you know, he, his, his self-esteem, you know, gets a little dampered. He gets a little stressed because he's losing his hair. But the people around him really don't take too much um, you know, too much notice, you know. Um, but there are also a lot of women out there, too, who struggle with hair thinning and hair loss. And, you know, we it, it, it can really, you know, um, be very harsh for a woman especially because it's not really socially acceptable in society. When we see a woman, you know, lose her hair, we look and I'm like, oh, my goodness. You know, it, that's the way our society thinks. And, um, you know, there are so many things out there, you know, um, about hair loss. Um, and there's so many products and so much, you know, um, so much information out there. People can really get lost. Um, you know, we, you know, as as you know, like as time goes on, you know, our, you know, our testosterone, you know, ten uh, percent of it, I believe, turns into DHT, and that, you know, can, you know, that's caused by an enzyme called 5 alpha reductase, and that can, you know cling on to your scalp and it can cling on to your hair follicles and really um, cause hair loss and hair thinning and there's you know that's one of the reasons and then there's also you know people you know um, you know go through you know different um, illnesses and different things that can cause stress and, you know and stress in life can cause hair loss if you look around you'll notice a lot of people struggle with hair loss even you know I've had a few friends you know in our mid-age you know we're trying to look good you know a lot of them went on on diets and a lot of them lost weight and they lost their hair because their body went in shock from the hair loss 
um, you know, from the, uh, you know, their body went in shock and caused hair loss. So there's so many things that could cause hair loss, and it can cause so much stress in a person's life. And, you know, I started um, I started working, and I came across this gentleman, and he was working on a product that he came out with, and um, it was uh, ha uh, Hair Restorations Laboratory. And I started working with him. He gave me the product to try, and I started using it, and it worked. I was amazed. My uh, hair became thicker, and I would be, it started getting longer, and it started promoting hair growth. And I started giving it to a few friends, and I even gave it to my son who was in college who started had it. He started getting the receding hairlines, and it was helping. And um, you know, I was really, I I was really uh, excited about it. Um, you know, so I started working with him on it, and uh, I really liked the product a lot because it was all natural. It had all natural um, ingredients in it. And, uh, you know, and it, and it was, you know, reasonably priced. It wasn't like a lot of the stuff you see, you know, on the, on the, uh, on, on the shelves. And, and, the, and the problem nowadays is that so many products, you could put anything on a shelf, you know. You could, when it comes to, it's not like regular. You know, so it's like I was very, you know, with with Hair Restorations Laboratory, I was really, um, I was really uh, excited about the product. I even put it on my website because it actually helps people um, with hair loss. And uh, you know, I have a lot of articles now. You know, when I realized how many people were suffering from um, hair loss, we have a whole section devoted to hair loss and to explaining about hair loss, why it happens, and different things that you could do naturally to actually help your hair loss, because. Okay, and so what we're going to do, Stacey, is we're going to take a, a short break here and we're going to continue this discussion on hair loss because there are a lot of women that we see that do have thin hair, menopausal women, and even slightly yes. younger. And again, you're listening to Truth on Wellness. This is Dr. Roberto Tostado. Our guest today is Stacey Chalemi, and she's the author of The Complete Guide to Natural Healing and Natural Remedies for Common Conditions, and we'll be right back. Dr. Tostado's iBody Clinic is located in the idyllic community of San Marino, California. If you've decided to transform your life, this is your opportunity. They work with you to get to the root of your problem and bring you back to vitality. Dr. Tostado's clinic can help. Whether you need a nutritional overhaul, bioidentical hormone balancing, medical weight loss, or stem cell therapy, visit theibody.com and start feeling good again. That's theibody.com or call 626-593-5993. Constant Contact and your small business make a perfect fit for marketing. They give you what you need to succeed. Fast and easy email marketing at your fingertips. Visit the HealthyLife.net advertiser page and click on Constant Contact to start your marketing. Mmm. Imagine the sweetness of sugar with no calories and no carbs. Then you have to try Monk Fruit Sweetener from TheGrinningMonk.com. They make sure the Monk Fruit Sweetener that you get is non-GMO and organic. Now put a grin on your face and remember that name, TheGrinningMonk.com. Keto-friendly and with zero glycemics, it's good for diabetics too. So come on, grin and get your sweet tooth on the healthy way at TheGrinningMonk.com. TheGrinningMonk.com. For the best in business class travel, count on Cheapo Air. Cheapo Air has the best price guarantee, 24-7 customer service, and easy booking online or by phone. To experience your hassle-free journey, start by going to HealthyLife.net's advertiser page and click on Cheapo Air. Inner Health produces outer beauty, and now you can get the help you need to look and feel good from the inside out. Dr. Tostado's Eye Body Cleanse helps support weight loss and improves your health. A clean body is a lean body. Get rid of the harmful toxins in your body with a 21-day Eye Body Detox Cleanse. To find out how this cleanse can work for you, visit iBodyDetox.com. The Eye Body Detox Cleanse can help you transform your life. So visit iBodyDetox.com now. That's iBodyDetox.com. Remember, the power of truth at www.healthylife.net. Welcome. 
Welcome back to Truth on Wellness. This is Dr. Roberto Tostado and my wife, Teresa, and today's guest is Stacy Chalemi. She's the author of The Complete Guide to Natural Healing and Natural Remedies for Common Conditions and herself um, with epilepsy and how she was able to uh, change her life, turn it around completely with her lifestyle and nutrition and food as medicine and through her journey of um, meditation and spirituality, which is what this show is about in getting in touch with our body, our mind, our spirits, so that we become healthier and we heal our bodies through food as medicine and natural uh, remedies. So uh, the topic we're discussing now then is what a lot of people suffer, and that is uh, thinning hair or losing hair, particularly with women um, who can have a lot of um, obvious social issues dealing with uh, hair loss. And Stacy, obviously, looking at a picture of you, your hair is very robust. <laughs> so <laughs> obviously, what you're doing is working very well. And so, uh, with the research in this company you've been working with, uh, do you want to talk about some of the conditions that people experience, like alopecia, trichotillomania, any of these things that um, have uh, results in uh, hair loss? Yeah, you know, there's there's so many things that cause, um, you know, that causes. Uh, Epile- um, that causes, I'm sorry, hair loss. Um, you know, alopecia is one of them, and you know, um, and, and you have a lot of different things. Now, with the hair restoration product, it, I think it mostly it, it, it has been very helpful for people who have, um, you know, hair loss caused by um, basically, uh, you know. Uh, and in, um, age and, you know, um, people who have struggled with, uh, um, you know, their, you know, as you get older, your body changes, like we I mentioned earlier, and that, you know, it blocks, it, it's a DHT blocker, so it, it really, it blocks the DHT caused by the testosterone um, and the enzyme um, 5 alpha reductase, and it, you know, it helps, so you could have, it helps to promote healthy hair, hair growth. And um, it's great for people in, 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 uh, that are str- struggling from, from hair loss and uh, that have, you know, have seen, you know, hair thinning over time. Um, it's, it has a lot of different natural ingredients. It has, uh, it has biotin in it. It has caffeine. It has green, green, um, ex- uh, green tea extract and a lot of different, different um, natural ingredients. And, it, you know, I've used it, and it's really been very helpful uh, because it, it blocks that DHT, um, you know, that, that clings on to the follicles and the scalp, which um, causes the hair loss. And uh, I've seen a lot, of, a, a lot of good. I've given it to a lot of people to try, and a lot of people have said that it's been very helpful and that they like it a lot. And uh, a few friends who, you know, that they're concerned about their hair loss, but, you know, they, ha- they don't really have too much of it, but they started to see a little bit of a difference. They started taking it, and, you know, their hair growth, you know, started to um, get, uh, become more, and they started to notice thickness, increase in thickness in their hair. And uh, it's nice because you don't have to use it every day. It's two to three times uh, a week you could use it. And um, they have serums, too, that you could rub into the scalp. And it's, you know, um, their main product is uh, a shampoo and conditioner. So you could just do it in the shower as you're getting, you know, getting ready for the day. And, you know, and it's, uh, it's nice, it's easy, and it works well. Yeah, in fact, um because at our, at our clinic, you know, we've started to devise uh, natural ways to promote hair growth. And what the ingredients you were describing, like biotin, uh, things like green tea extract, uh, even things like selenium, um, mm-hmm. yeah. these are, are vitamins that do promote hair growth. And uh, we've done this thing called mesotherapy, where essentially we learned this over, well over a decade ago, almost two decades ago, where you inject these particular uh, vitamins that you're describing, and you were talking about chakra points earlier, and you do it in the gallbladder uh, meridian of the scalp. And so very similarly, we've seen people with alopecia and um, or male pattern baldness, and it does stimulate hair growth. So what you're saying is absolutely true because we've seen it by injecting it, and uh, you're seeing it through a topical application. Yeah, and, and the truth of the matter is a lot of people are actually deficient, you know, in certain vitamins and minerals. Start, yeah, minerals. So what we do is when we inject, we inject directly the biotin, you know, the selenium on the hair, mm-hmm. and basically nourish the, the scalp. And 
and uh, hair follicles to stimulate them to grow. And it's amazing how just with that remedy and, you know, taking the zinc every day also, uh, zinc is very good for hair growth and uh, how, how, you know, you could revive your hair, your hair regrowth. Absolutely. And then and there's a lot of hormonal changes as well, obviously, that people experience. And like what you're talking about, stress. And therefore, a lot of, I think like 72% of the world is actually deficient in their thyroid. And um, that's, that's a huge percentage when you think how big this world is. And one of the biggest issues for that, as I've learned over the years in uh, regenerative medicine, is that because of all the... Um, uh, components um, in foods, whether they're uh, chemical preservatives um, or heavy metals and things of this sort that actually poison our bodies. Oh, yeah. And um, yeah, it's not meant to be in our body, obviously. But uh, yeah. one of the preservatives in white flour is bromide, and bromide, it um, competes with iodine, and iodine is the main nutrient for our thyroid. And so with all this uh, uh you know, processed flour that we've been eating for about a century easily. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people start to experience this for metabolism, hair loss, dry skin, which is a big issue that we see a lot with, with clients. And, of course, this affects the hair. And so a lot of times when you restore their thyroid, but more importantly what you've been talking about and what really is the whole kind of thrust of this conversation is it really comes down to your lifestyle. Yeah. And like Teresa was saying, with all these deficiencies in vitamins and minerals, uh, our bodies start to deteriorate, and we're not noticing these things, or we're not we're not paying attention enough to understand that unless we make these shifts and get the education to understand, and by going to your website, um, they could learn a lot of these natural remedies. Um, so yeah, it's absolutely um, tremendous what we can do for ourselves by just shifting and, and realizing what our bodies actually need. So, uh, what is the website that people can actually um, go to? To, to to look at the, and to learn these yeah, to learn about the, the the hair growth that you're talking about. It's called the complete herbal guide com, and um, it's uh, it, it's a great website. It has um, we basically we talk about everything. We talk about hair growth. We talk about hair loss. We talk about every illness um, and disorder, um, mentally and physically. We talk about um, we talk about regular fitness, how to stay healthy, and also you know nutrition. Uh, we have great recipes as well on our website uh, to help people. Um, and we, you know, we, we have a lot of experts that come on and write articles and submit their articles. And a lot of it, we have a lot of different columnists that have a lot of expertise in different areas. And they uh, like to share a lot of their knowledge on the website. So it's really a vast information of, of various things. Uh, so you could really go on there if there's something in particular you want to learn about. And even how about growing herbs and spices and, you know, uh, you know, learn about gut health, you know. Um, or different essential oils, you name it, it's on there. So it's like, you know, it's a great website. It's a great guide. Um, that's why we call it the Complete Herbal Guide because it, it teaches you not just about herbs, though. It teaches you a little about everything, about healthy living overall, you know. We started out talking about, you know, herbals and supplements, but there was so much more that needed to be covered. And, you know, over time, we just, the website grew into a huge website about everything. So it's great for, you know, if you just want to tweak your body and, or if you just want to stay healthy or, you know, and have overall health, it's a great website to get any information that you need about health. Okay, and once again, we're listening to Stacey Chalemi, and you're listening to Truth and Wellness, Dr. Roberto Sostado, my wife, Teresa. And again, the website that Stacey was talking about to find out all this information about health, hair, and anything in between, it's called thecompleteherbalguide.com. Thecompleteherbalguide.com. We'll be right back.
Inner Health produces outer beauty, and now you can get the help you need to look and feel good from the inside out. Dr. Tostado's Eye Body Cleanse helps support weight loss and improves your health. A clean body is a lean body. Get rid of the harmful toxins in your body with a 21-day Eye Body Detox Cleanse. To find out how this cleanse can work for you, visit iBodyDetox.com. The Eye Body Detox Cleanse can help you transform your life. So visit iBodyDetox.com now. That's iBodyDetox.com. Audiobooks gives you instant access to over 50,000 of the best sellers and hottest book titles in romance, mystery, fiction, and many other genres. Just visit HealthyLife.net's advertiser page and click on Audiobooks to get started. Dr. Tostado's iBody Clinic is located in the idyllic community of San Marino, California. If you've decided to transform your life, this is your opportunity. They work with you to get to the root of your problem and bring you back to vitality. Dr. Tostado's clinic can help. Whether you need a nutritional overhaul, bioidentical hormone balancing, medical weight loss, or stem cell therapy, visit theibody.com and start feeling good again. That's theibody.com or call 626-593-5993. Roku is like having your own video library with over 300,000 choices. And it's the best way to get Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, and so much more. There's a Roku player for every budget. So go to HealthyLife.net's advertiser page and click on the Roku banner. Mmm. Imagine the sweetness of sugar with no calories and no carbs. Then you have to try Monk Fruit Sweetener from TheGrinningMonk.com. They make sure the Monk Fruit Sweetener that you get is non-GMO and organic. Now put a grin on your face and remember that name, TheGrinningMonk.com. Keto-friendly and with zero glycemics, it's good for diabetics too. So come on, grin and get your sweet tooth on the healthy way at TheGrinningMonk.com. TheGrinningMonk.com. Remember, help for a positive life. www.healthylife.net Welcome back to Truth and Wellness. This is Dr. Roberto Tostado and my wife, Teresa, and today's guest, Stacey Chalemi, who's the author of The Complete Guide to Natural Healing and Natural Remedies for Common Conditions. Um, we've been discussing many things, uh, ultimately about lifestyle, to uh, deal with any kind of ailment or condition we might be inflicted with, but how things can get better by uh, changing our attitude and our eating habits in a huge way. So, um, Stacy, I know that, uh, again, you gave the, the website of the, the complete herbalguide.com where a lot of the listeners can find these um, remedies and information on things that might concern their health. So let's talk about um, nutrition because you do share a lot about food and recipes on your website and uh, things that people can learn from to start a healthy lifestyle already. Sure. Um, you know, yeah, a lot of people don't realize, but, you know, they're, you know, the, we live in such a go-go, you know, um, uh, world where everybody's on the run, everybody's doing something, and everybody's just running to grab, you know, the first thing they see, you know, you know, processed foods has become so popular. You go into the food store, everything is pre-made for you to make life easier. But what people don't realize, if you look in the back and you look at these ingredients, there's a lot of unhealthy foods, and even, even the color dye they use to make, you know, there's so many foods that look so pretty when you look at it, but they're, they're done because of marketing reasons, and they're done to make, to look, you, look pretty so you'd buy them, but, you know, a lot of those ingredients that they use are cancer-causing ingredients. A lot of the stuff when we eat these type of foods and we eat foods that have um, unhealthy ingredients in them, our body doesn't know what to do with them. You know, our body, it goes into our body, and our body doesn't know how to break it down, and it gets stored, and over time, we grow a lot of toxins throughout our body and you know and then after time you know uh, you know our body becomes sluggish and we start to feel fatigue and we think it's ah oh, it's because I'm getting older oh, oh you know it's it's just you know I probably didn't get enough of sleep 
But, you know, a lot of times it's because of the foods we're eating. And, you know, if our body's having a hard time breaking it down and it's breaking it down and breaking it down and breaking it down, it's working full force to, to try to get these toxins, you know, out of our system to try to, you know, and our, our, we get so tired because our body's working so hard because there's so many toxins in our body that shouldn't be there. And we're the ones putting them in there. And, you know, and I get so mad sometimes when I see the food industry and they keep doing it and they know how bad it is and they know, you know, they put, you know, they put chlorine on carrots to make it last longer. And then you wonder when you see, go in the refrigerator and you see the, the carrots and they have this white film over them, you know, and different things that they, they dip into the, into, into the food and ingredients they, they use to make the food look plumper and nicer and bigger, you know. Um, and people are just slowly killing themselves and they don't even know it. But, you know. Um, yeah, and, and that's what. That's why one of the treatments that we do for patients, or you know, at least their clients that come in into the clinic, is to just start fresh, you know, with a detox. You know, we yeah. had come up with our, you know, we, we the gut also is very important. And, you know, with our detox, we focus on getting the toxins out of your system, getting your liver to work a little bit harder and getting the toxins out and, you know, healing the gut, which is really important. Yeah, you know, that's the that's the first thing you want to do is detoxify your body. If you can get those toxins out, you know, people don't realize how much better they will feel. And, you know, it it can it, it can make you feel it can make you feel younger again, you know. And it, it you, you know, and you, sometimes people look at their skin and their skin doesn't look too good. Your skin's telling you it's it's you know, it's it's you know, when we look at our bodies and you look in the mirror and you don't look good, you know, a lot of times it's because of the foods we're eating, it's because of the lifestyle we're leading and our body is not agreeing with it and it, it gives you signs you know and you have to listen to those signs like we were talking earlier in the conversation and you know um, it's you know detoxifying your body is the first step to healing the body and even the mind you know they were doing a um, an article a while back ago I had read you know um, the kids in college they like to eat these certain noodles and you know it's, it's really popular and even like the colleges will send it to the kids sometimes when they start college as a joke, you know, and, you know, those noodles, you know, they can change the, the way a person thinks, you know, the chemicals in those noodles, you know, can change the moods and, and can change different things in the brain because of the unhealthy ingredients that are in, in these, in these uh, foods, you know, you know no, can do a lot. And, and, then, and then we all become what I call carboholic, where, you know, our yeah. brains are just so addicted to the sugars and the carbs, and so... To help people then get away from this kind of sugar brain that we become from all these foods and, and the sugars that are put into these foods and chemicals, talk to us then, Stacy, about this um, particular recipe that you had in mind that you could start the morning with. I think it was some kind of a shake, yeah. shake or smoothie. Yeah. You know, a lot of people, like, you know, um, they suffer from inflammation. And, and, again, this is a lot has to do with um, the foods we eat. You know, a lot of times we, we become very inflamed and very, um, you know, our body. And then, you know, not only do we not, uh, we look like we're in our third trimester, but we look also we start to feel sluggish and tired and, and we don't, we can't really accomplish as much as we do. And there's a little recipe called the, the pear, apple, and ginger smoothie. And, and it's very simple to make. You know, smoothies are very easy. Easy. You have a little blender, and you can throw things in, and it, you know, and the different fruits and vegetables does wonders. And this little recipe can help hypertension, cancer, body inflammation, and you know, it even it even does great wonders for the for the lungs because pear, you know, pears are great um, for asthma, and they're great, you know, for for different respiratory um, illnesses. It just it just it, it helps. So it's like two cups of organic pears chopped up. You put like a cup of um, apple juice and one cup of crushed ice and then a teaspoon of ginger root grated and you just put it in a blender, you smooth it, you know, you add the crushed ice and then you serve and, you know, it's great. Um, they say it's, it's really good too for Alzheimer's, colitis, arthritis and high blood pressure and, you know, just something so simple like that could actually, you know, help a whole bunch of stuff because the different fruits and the different, like we said, vegetables, these these things, you know, they have so many nutrients and so many vitamins in them, people don't even realize. And I just wanted to add one thing. When we were talking, you know, people don't realize, but a lot of people, you know, they, they think they feel
feel fine, but if they go for a, a full blood workout, you know, by a professional who deals with healing the body, they can, they'll can they actually find out a lot of things they may be deficient in that they don't even know. And for me as a person, when I first started healing my body, I when I first went to um, the herbalist and I went to my doctor and he gave me that full uh, blood workout, I was deficient in so many different nutrients and so many vitamins, and I wasn't even aware of it. And once I started eating the right foods and, and taking the right vitamins that had those things in it, I, I, within three months I felt like a new person. Yeah, no, exactly. That's the kind of workup we do extensively at our clinic with the blood work and getting nutritional deficiencies, inflammatory markers, so people understand. Like I call it a blueprint for your body. Right. That way people can understand what's going on. A lot of people are deficient in vitamin D and don't even know it. Or they yeah. live here in Southern California. Oh, we get the sun all day, but they're actually very deficient. And like right. I like to say, everyone's deficient in D until proven otherwise because most people are. And likewise, everybody has adrenal fatigue until proven otherwise because of their cortisol levels, their stress hormone is so out of whack. And yeah. people just need to understand this and recognize this. And so, um, Stacey, I was going to ask you, if people did want to get uh, this hair product you are talking about in the last segment, what do they need to do? Well, um, you could even you could type in Hair Restorations Laboratory. You can go right onto their website, or you can go, even go onto my website, and I have it right on my uh, on my website. And um, I have their products um, right on the uh, on the home page. And you could even go to, like I said, Hair Restorations Laboratory. And their products uh, are listed um, right on the home page. You can you can find on the internet. You can you can see their um, their website, and it's hairlossdhtshampoo.com, and that's what their actual um, their actual uh, website is. So it's hairlossdhtshampoo.com. But if you can't remember that, you could just type in Hair Restorations Laboratory or go on my website, and their products are right there. And you know they have like I. I said they have great products they're all natural and it does wonders well thank you stacy chile mean, we greatly appreciate you being on this program you're going to help a lot of people with your work with your experience with your wisdom and again i want to mention your uh, website which is the complete herbal guide.com t-h-e the complete herbal guide.com you've been listening to truth and wellness with our guest stacy chilemi this is dr roberto tostado Thank you again for being a guest, and um, look forward to your work going forward, Stacey. Thank you so much for having me.